Hello everyone and welcome to another special unboxing. I've received another mysterious parcel in the mail and this time it took ages to arrive unfortunately. Thanks British Postal Service. This was dispatched to me at the end of September. Had it arrived tomorrow it would have taken exactly a month and that sadly means I am a bit late to the party to help drum up some interest and attention to Legends Odyssey which is by Juicy Games. They have sent me this for free to take a look at. I'm not 100% sure what's in here. This was also in the box. I don't know if it fell out of what they were giving me, but we're going to take a look at it today, talk about it. At the time you're hearing this, I'm going to get this up ASAP. The campaign will still be going. I think it has like two weeks to go, roughly speaking, by the time you hear this. It's a Kickstarter. I will link it in the description box below. It's not an affiliate or tracking link or anything like that. You can go through or just find it for yourself on Kickstarter and check it out for more information about pricing details. It is essentially though a modular card game with booster packs, you know, TCG mechanics and that kind of thing. And yeah, we're going to take a look at this and see what they've sent me. So first of all, let's just take a look at the card that may or may not have fallen out of the packaging. I'm not 100% sure, but this is Arch Phantom of Azure Feather. And I presume these are stats. I'm going to guess them. That's going to be... Health, mana, ooh, let's go with attack, defense, health, maybe. And that's maybe like what you use to summon them because I think it has that kind of mechanic. And they have the Blade of Honor skill. And it's a f they use poker size cards, I think these are called. Very shiny, very large. They have an ability on them and it is promo 001, it says in the bottom there. And that is in the back and Part of the, um, the selling point they have for this is that it has a companion app. I'm not 100% sure of everything the app will do, but there is details about that on the Kickstarter. So this also fell off, but that's fine because I needed to take that off anyway to open it. And as I say, I do not know what's in this. I have not opened it, as is hopefully apparent. So let's crack this open and have a little look-see. We have something here, I don't know what information is on that, so I'll read that in a second. Let me just see what this is. Is this just protective card? No, hang on, it's something. Let me just make sure it's something that I can show you. Uh, let's see, I believe I can. If not, then I'll do a cut here, but... Hello and welcome, Legend. The Juicy Game Team welcomes you to the epic adventure of Legends Odyssey and sincerely thanks you for the support in this campaign. You're holding the Founders Edition Starter Pack that would be this, of Legends Odyssey in your hands. We hope this first adventure fully immerses you into the fascinating world of Imeria, I think. Maybe mispronouncing slightly. This is very thick paper, by the way. Legends Odyssey is a dream of a passionate team come true. The games you are discovering is complete in itself, but thanks to your support and our community, it is only the seed of a much larger universe. If success is on our side, we may have many more surprises to unveil. Your first steps into the world of Emeria. With this pack, you are already set to challenge your opponents and start your Odyssey in Emeria, but the adventure doesn't stop there. Very soon, we'll be adding scenarios to enrich your games available through our free app, which is called the Emerian Compass, coming if our Kickstarter campaign reaches its goals. Give you a taste, follow the link below and dive into a simulation of the Compass. Discover an original starter scenario, playable solo or with up to three companions. This is just a glimpse of the incredible potential of our game. Okay, don't forget to follow us on social media, etc. And once again, a huge thank you. You're very welcome. I only wish it had arrived on time. <laughs> that's a, that's the great shame, but you're very welcome. So, all right, so that's what we've got here. So here's what was inside the Founders Edition starter set. 110 cards, apparently. I'm just taking off the plastic wrap here. Choose your own adventure card game. One to four players for ages 12 plus with five to 30 minute games. Oh, tarot, tarot cards. That's the size of card, not poker card. That's what it was. Control the power of the five elements and save the kingdom of Ameria. Scan your cards and unlock thousands of combinations to ensure every game is unique. Play solo or with friends, cooperative or competitive. Sounds good. And I guess that's the elements on the side of the box there. All right, let's crack this open and take a look. I think that's everything in the box. There we are, put that there. So we have ourselves some tokens here that I presume have gameplay mechanics. What is that? Turtle, bird, bull, dragon. I think I'd rather have one of those on my side than the rest, but still. And then let's see, is there any kind of 
Ah, yeah, there's special cards at the bottom rather than just the deck. I'm not sure how many of these. These are big, chunky cards. So that'll be the how to play, I believe. Oh no, no, never mind. These are like uh, event cards. Blessed be the flame bear, the peaceful voice of eternal tides. You know, these sound like oh, these are the these relate to the pictures. Okay. And then we have cut out these for tokens. Awakening bonus, element plus one, dream shards. Ah, here we go. Here's quick references for how to play. A game turn. On the back it just tells you what each back means. So quests, locations, monsters, relics and what they do. And dual preparation, so that'll be the versus mode. There's more about the relics on the back there. And then a thank you. Let's save Ameria. Your adventure begins, and then they tell you to download the Amerian Compass. Okay, so I accidentally started too far down. I thought they'd have just like the miscellaneous things at the bottom, but it does seem like it's quest related, so I'll turn them all over and we'll look at them. So I think this angle will do. We'll do it this way. So we've seen these ones, but it's just so I'm keeping them together and as they are, or as they were rather. So the exact purpose for every single one of these I'm obviously not going to be 100% on, and by 100% I mean I'm close to zero understanding beyond basically playing TCGs before. But these look like attacks. Solar Disc, add plus one to your combat score for the round. If your enemy uses water or air in round two, add plus one to your combat score for round three. So that's the elements fighting each other there. Scarlet Sting, pretty cool looking. I'm not going to sit and read every card, but obviously you can pause if you want to. Savage Spirit. And because this is a starter set, presumably there's only duplicates of cards you would want duplicates of, since presumably it's playable out of the starter box. Explosion! Lovely. Furia Synergy. I think. Tsunami Ikigai. Azure Colossus. It's just now dawning on me there's 110 cards so I shouldn't linger on each one as much as I am but I'm having a look at them. Revelations. Mirror. It's fancy looking. Shadow Veil. So I guess this is a different element now because of the, because of the top left. They are very shiny cards if it catches my studio light. That's basically all you're going to see. Flash bang out. And they've got the standard back. Astral Ray. Blessing. Neural's Tribute. Awakening. Is that a repeat? Don't think I can't remember now. Ancestral Silence. So we're on to green element now. Onyx Armor. Acid Torment. Yeah, these are definitely individual elements. Reliquary Hidden. Vitality Cocoon. Call of Lightning. This is more my style. So is the Grey Lightning then? Eoli's Flight. Demarain's Fusion. The art is cool. Lightning Spear. <laughs> Dark Souls Classic. Alright, so that's my element then. I like Lightning. And teleportation. Ah, okay. So, just out of curiosity, is that? I think I maybe got an accidental copy of a card from the deck because, as I say, that the one I had up here fell out of the box, and it is the same as uh, this one right here. So, I presume I got two by accident because it also says promo on it. Yeah. So this must just be like his deck, I guess. Although then we have justice. Oh, these are other characters. Possibly like side characters to help you with your main hero card. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. I'm not going to say this name either, but we can all read it. Rygarth, I can read that. Samurai Lizard. Aquatic Predator. Nurashin, is that an elephant? It is an elephant man. Ah, and then there is other actual human characters, White Tiger, Golem Car, uh, I can't really pronounce that name either, 
Grisenklum. Inky. I think it rings a bell. The Red Goblin. He doesn't look like a goblin. Well, he, he looks short. A new buddy. Two Fangs. Dame Valerie. The Raven. And again, these seem to have elements associated with them as well. Ooh, Twilight Reaper. Cool. Very neat looking. Cunning Little Drake. Have been called worse things. So I'm getting a demon name here. Oh, we got two of him. Oh, these are enemies. Wait, so is that little goblin thing an enemy? No, they started with the guy with the reaper. Uh, sorry, with the scythe, rather. So two of them. Got a blade howler. A hydra of the azure lake. Pillager of the north. There we are. Oh, two of those. Big teeth. No, wait, di sorry, big thief. Bit of devil jewel energy there. Black orcs of bullfire. Black flame lion. A forgotten soldier. I'm surprised there's no more than that. Sounds kind of like a generic guy. Skeleton barbarian. Dracul kin. Some kind of tree dragon. It's cool. Oh, we get two of them. A soul grave digger. Fanatical marauder. We get two of them. Or potentially more. Hang on. Two of those. A Marshy's Pale Ogre. A Rubon Tasaurus. That's fun to say. Oh, and then we're on to other things. The final act, end of the game, scan this card. Okay, so that's fancy stuff. Camp is the game's starting position. So I guess that's how you construct your deck. Like you start with that, end with the other one. You can find a tavern that's presumably an event. The Doomed! Legacy of the Shakaran Kai. The Relic. Yeah, so these must be events that you mix into the deck or something. The Legend. Oh, and then sideways cards. It's got to be items that you maybe put beneath your characters. So that's The Wish. This is Sinopal Cider. Windbreaker Boots. Zenith Shard. A Bronze Azure. Presumably a ring. The Eye of Andel. Regmir. Blade from Limbo. Pyro Cube. Tells you to burn things. Heart Piercer. An Assassin's Bleed. Aldarian Leather. Sorry, Aldrian Leather. Hog Mat Mater. So yeah, this is plus to your stats. Same with the Hammer. And it gives you an ability called Solid Strike. Oh, there's location cards too. So we have Skyfire, we have a Dawn Portal, which has teleportation. Oh, Glen! Can't forget Glen. Everybody knows Glen. And the tavern owner, obviously. He looks like he wants more than just to serve you drinks. And then another location, the temple. And then the reefs of the kings. The opal desert, lost question mark, probably. Old Jangar, blacksmith. Grove of shadows. Remnants. The old palace. The Abandoned Village. A sound, that's odd. Draw one monster card and engage in combat. The Oak Forest. The Jungle of Benta, which has that something asaurus there. The Temple of Rygar, we've had him mentioned. The Oak Gate. Some ruins. And then also some ruins. What's that smell? Draw two monster cards. And draw two monster cards. So that gives you an idea of what you get if you collect one of these Legends Odyssey starter packs. It gives you everything you need to play the game. There are booster packs. 
There are other options, those are all on the Kickstarter, and it does indeed suck that the post took so long to get this to me. A whole month is absolutely ridiculous. I apologise on their behalf that it took this long, but hey, hopefully I got this out quick enough that there's still time left on the campaign for you to go check it out, and if you're interested to put a pledge in. They also have more information about their process, etc. over there, so I encourage you to click through and read that. The description box will have the link to the Kickstarter campaign. Thank you again for sending me this, I appreciate it. The, the quality of the cards is great, the art is great. I can't obviously comment on how it plays because I haven't played it yet, but it looks neat to me. So check it out and decide for yourself. Thank you again, and yeah, go check out Legends Odyssey. Thank you for watching, that's all for now.